Hello friends, in this video we synthesize a peculiar organic compound of pharmaceutical importance called 2,3-diphenylquinoxaline. Two three diphenylquinoxaline is formed by the condensation of orthophenylene diamine with benzyl. It is an important pharmaceutical agent because of its anti-protozoal, anti-helminthic, anti-cancer and anti-viral properties. Materials required for this preparation includes 2.1 grams of benzyl, 1.1 gram of orthophenylene diamine and 16 milliliters of ethanol. Fix a small 100 ml round bottom flask on a stand and then start adding the pre-weighed 2.1 gram of benzyl. Benzyl was synthesized in one of my previous videos, I will put a link to that in the description. Next add 10 ml of ethyl alcohol to the compound in order to dissolve it. Mix with the help of a glass steering rod. In another small 50 ml beaker, we have taken pre-weighed 1.1 gram of orthophenylene diamine and into that we added 8 ml of ethyl alcohol in order to dissolve it. Swirl the flask around in order to dissolve the compound in alcohol. Now place the round bottom flask containing benzyl in hot water bath at 100 degrees Celsius and after a few minutes we see the benzyl completely dissolves resulting in a clear solution. On top of that we add the solution of orthophenylene diamine and mix them together well. The reaction that is taking place is a direct condensation of orthophenylene diamine with benzyl. After 30 minutes, we take it out from the water bath and let it to cool to room temperature. Then we add few milliliters of distilled water until slight cloudiness persists. Now place the flask in an ice bath for few minutes to crystallize out the product. Next, the crude product was filtered by a simple gravity filtration method. After filtration, we are left with a off-white colored crude product in the filter paper. The crude product was then purified using ethanol. The compound was completely dissolved in warm ethanol. Then the solution was allowed to come to room temperature. Beautiful cotton ball like crystalline growth was observed in the beaker. After getting to room temperature, the beaker was placed in ice bath for complete crystallization and then the crystals were scraped up from the beaker and was allowed to dry on a piece of tissue paper. Here you can see the final product. The final yield was 2.6 grams which represents 92% yield. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you loved the contents of this video, do hit the subscribe button and the bell button for notifications. You can also join my discord server, I will put a link to that in the description. Thank you.